Hi, this is Hank Gola of the Daily News. I am back at my alma mater, Garfield High School in New Jersey. Varsity jacket still fits from 72, 42 years ago. Uh, they'll be honoring the 1939 championship game team here at uh, halftime. Uh, they went down to the Miami Orange Bowl, beat Miami for the national championship uh, 75 years ago, 75th anniversary. We'll be uh, putting my uh, interview with uh, Walter Young, one of the surviving members of that team, online. He's terrific, sharp as a whip, and he's got some great stuff to say. That's a good story. The Miami game is, is, is a bit of a dream. <laughs> Remember, in those days, there was no offense, defense. Right, both ways. You played both ways. And if you ever left the game for any reason whatsoever, you could not return into the, the, until that quarter was over. I didn't know that. So if you got hurt in, in the beginning of the first quarter, you were finished for the quarter. You, you were permitted to go back in in the second quarter. When we, when we got down there, we practiced on an open field, uh -huh. and, and we knew we were playing a very good team. We knew that. We knew Miami was good. Miami, that particular year, 1939, allowed 13 points to be scored against them for the entire season. I know. I know. We scored 16 in one game. You know, every once in a while you run into somebody that affects your life. Yes, Argar affected my life. There were things he demanded of us that were absolutely the way it should be. You know, a lot of, it, it, there wasn't always a total understanding, but I'm an old guy now. Yeah. And I can tell you what Argar represented to me. Is, 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 is borders on the hero worship of this particular man. I loved the man. Great, great guy. He was a tough coach, but he was a good coach. He was a fair coach. And, 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 and he watched over his kids. He personally, before every game, our guy would have one kid come in at a time. He'd sit down and he'd take Run. the knees and you act. He would take the knees. He would do the taping? He would do the taping personally. Wow. And he would be talking to you while he did it, you know? And, and, and if, if ever I met a man who hated to lose, <laughs> it was Coach Argo. Walter Young, he was a member of the 1939 Garfield football team that beat Miami of Florida 16-3 to win the national championship. Mr. Walter Young, he's gonna he's gonna flip the coin tonight. Oh no, you're the home team. Captains for the Bears. What would you like, Hedge or Tails? Hedge or Tails. Walter, you may flip the coin. Number 24, Derek Queens. It is a head. You want to defer. He's getting the ball.